Welcome more gamers to a quick product review. This is the new Alpha Pack from Powered Play Gaming. This is, seems like not a whole lot in the bag. There's just a, a nest of wires here, but let me assure you, uh, there's something a lot more special inside this bag. And let me uh, go ahead and get to it. So let's take a look at what's in the bag here. Right? So, the one thing that stands out here, this is the only non-light sort of whip tail wire. This is a 9 volt battery connector. So you just plug up a normal 9 volt battery here. And then we have all of the LEDs. And each one has a little uh, piece of paper or some sort of shrink wrap plastic on it uh, telling you what color it is. These, This little pair of them is red. Let me see if you can actually see the red um, but yeah there are two different sizes here I want to say that we got a, a three mil and a five mil maybe or six mil seven mil I don't know anyway we got two different sizes of bulbs here some colors come in large sizes some colors come in small sizes I think that's gonna be standard across um, all of the sets so all of the Red, green, and blue are going to be in the small size, and the yellow and cool white will be in the larger ones. Um, and now, finally, we have this piece. This is the brain of the operation, as it were. Uh, looks pretty simple. Uh, that's because it is pretty simple. Um, they, uh, they kept the board intentionally uh, uncomplicated. You've got your power supply here, and then four output ports and a switch turn off and on. So they're trying to keep all of the extra electronics and things off of, of the board and actually if you look closely here we've got our, our lights and now in line we have you can see the silhouette of a resistor. So uh, that doesn't mean that you have to have a resistor in each one of these but it means that this board can be used for multiple voltage uh, devices so it'll be really easy just to have this be like the power hub which is essentially what it is so let's uh, let's give this a go real quick so we'll just snap that into place and we'll do let's just grab one of these big ones here uh, what color is this? this is yellow so let's plug it into any one of these and I'm going to attach our power supply or our battery rather and now, I'll just flip the switch. Ta -da. And uh, I know it's a little hard to tell on video, but these are actually rather bright. Um, especially when you, you put these uh, into, into use on the, the tabletop. Now, uh, let's talk about what these are used for. You can light up terrain and vehicles and all kinds of other things. Uh, with it, uh, they have lots of examples and pictures and videos and things on their website, so I would encourage you to check those out. Um, but um, I guess I should have done one other thing, just uh, powered up a whole bunch of stuff at the same time. But uh, uh, also the the notion that we've got um, we've got this this board you know, not being really specialized to just do lights or anything like that means that they can come up with new modules for a variety of other things like maybe um, you know your you want your your war machine um, war jacks to have steam coming out of them well there already exist little things that you put in model trains so you could just have it powered by this you can have it powered by a 9 volt um, so there's all kinds of other interesting modules that you can put in to really bring your army to life now this little power pack is one of their prototype mini 9 volt uh, battery packs and it's a little bit smaller you can see here that it's a little less than half the size which means that you can fit it into smaller stuff stuff that you couldn't normally fit a 9 volt into like maybe the uh, the new Riptide model uh, this is supposed to fit into that one quite nicely so we got a whole bunch of them this time got like a Christmas tree of stuff going on here now all really rather bright Ooh, that's kinda trippy um, so these are very very interesting a product to watch and I would I would definitely suggest going to check out their Kickstarter 
uh, pledge a few dollars, and we are actually trying to to integrate some of this technology into uh, some of the products that we're working on right now for our Kickstarter. Um, just we have all the, the little hollow walls and things, and it'd be so cool to get to to a point where we could just light all those things up and just make them look even even cooler. There are lots of examples of this on the uh, PowerPlay Gaming website, uh, which um, if you didn't catch it when oh, come on, get back off there. This thing clamps on tight. There we go. Um, it's on the the bag here. Uh, PowerPlay.net or powered yeah powered play. Uh, is the, the name of their website. Uh, go check them out. They've got a good blog going on and they've got a Kickstarter going right now for these guys. So yeah, uh, definitely go check them out and there will be a tutorial up shortly on how to use this to light up the three pieces of a Fortress of Redemption. So uh, stay tuned for that and we will catch you next time. So uh, don't forget, this is uh, Powered Play Game uh, Gaming, PoweredPlay.net. Uh, go check them out. I'll put a link down in the description. And until next time, happy wargaming.